Welcome back to The Best of Investing. I'm Edward Brown, your host, along with Mark Hahn, the famous private money lender from Pacific Private Money, and Michelle Lerman of Lerman Law Partners. And when we cut to the third and final commercial break, we ask this trivia question. Again, the theme is the old TV show, MASH. Before BJ Honeycutt joined the show, who was Hawkeye's sidekick who shared his tent? Now, Mark, you said you know this answer. That would be Trapper John. Trapper John McIntyre. Very good. Okay, Mark, give us, let's talk about today. What is going on in real estate today? Well, it's the end of the year, and, uh, you know, we've been on for a year and a half, and, and just about every show, Edward, we talk about uh, real estate and the direction the market's heading. And so, of course, as I'm doing some show prep, I'm looking at the blog uh, posts and reports. And, and this week, we had the uh, release of the October Pending Home Sales Index. And... Uh, what that is, pending home sales are basically new contracts. Uh, what properties got into new contracts? And that's actually a forward-looking statistic. So that's important. In fact, in, in my opinion, it's a little more, it's more important than you know, how many units were sold last month. Now, if you listen to last week's show, we talked about how the um, uh, sales for uh, September uh, were down year over year. Not by a lot, but you know, down, not up. And, uh, and how this fourth quarter uh, at least in the eyes of a lot of real estate agents, have been pretty disappointing. Unit sales have not uh, gone where a lot of people thought they were going to go. So here the October pending home sales index comes out and it says, well, uh, pending home sales are up. And that's good news. But I also know that um, there's something happening in the market. This was another report that I read from, this is actually comes from CNBC. And, and it's the fact that uh, realtors are reporting uh, higher cancellations and that uh, cancellation, this cancellation rate right now in um, home sales contracts is is 20 percent, and and that's like an all, that's an all time high. And uh, they, well, what are they saying? What uh, is attributing it? Well, they're they're you know at, at first guess you might say well it's maybe because people aren't getting the financing, but as it turns out that only accounts for about 10 percent of the cancellations apparently, and uh, the bigger issues are things like failed inspections. Uh, and the biggest one really is buyers with cold feet uh, and economic conditions. Wondering, uh, is it going to go down lower? Right, yeah. and, 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 yeah, and, and appraisal's not coming through. So, so we so we have this frustrating condition, and it's 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 particularly frustrating if you're buying, fixing, and flipping out there. Uh, I know that there is uh, a lot of a lot of flippers out there that are sitting on inventory that's on the market, and they're wondering where the buyers are. So the prediction, you know, so so here we are. It's December. You know, not a lot of people are expecting a whole lot more to happen uh, during the holidays. So we're all kind of looking forward to next year. Okay, what's going to happen? Uh, in 2012, and usually the selling season uh, um, uh, generally uh, uh, accepted starts around, you know, after after the uh, Super Bowl. That's kind of like when, yeah, when sure. the when the housing market picks up, and so we're saying, okay, well, you know, spring and and uh, late winter, where are we going? And and that's where everybody's crystal ball tends to differ a little bit. It's uh, some people seem to think, well. Um, uh, we should stabilize and, and maybe even see a little improvement in the second half of 12, while others are going, hmm, you know, maybe we're going to see a little bit more um, uh, softening of prices. And I, I don't really, I don't claim to have a, a clearer crystal ball than anyone else, but I do tend to... Why do I have you with my co host <laughs> Then, But I do tend to, well, I just want to make that caveat, I'm not a guru, um, but I do tend to believe that uh, I, think I, I think we're at or near the bottom, and I do think the buyers uh, will come out. Uh, I, I think there is some pent up demand going on right here. I think the banks are going to start releasing more foreclosure inventory, which actually I think is going to be snapped up by uh, investors who have been waiting for more inventory to come on the market. There's uh, a lot of uh, educational seminars going on out there uh, telling people that. Uh, uh, though there's never been a better time to buy rental property. Well, and interest rates are still pretty low, and the rental market yeah. is still pretty strong. But a question for you about um, the part about the uh, uh, inspections, because mm -hmm. you said some of it has to do with inspections not passing. But that you could just adjust the price. I mean, it's not going to be a real uh, surprise, let's say, to a seller, because uh, any buyer it, who does an inspection is going to figure out if it's got termite damage or whatever. And, it is what it is. I mean, the seller can't just say, well, just ignore that. 
and keep the price high. Well, you know, you're talking about what they refer to as equity sales, not distress sales. Those are the sales by either someone who's fully repaired a property and is looking for market value or somebody who is uh, living in their home and needs to move and it's not a distress sale. They just want to sell it for a fair market price. And, and it's very, very frustrating. They're competing with distressed sales. And since distressed sales make up nearly half of the sales uh, in each month uh, in this current market, you know, you're, you, you know, you're dealing with a mentality where people just, well, if you're asking 250, then I've got to offer 225. And, and, uh, sure. and so when an inspection comes in and there's, you know, the inspector's paid to find something, and they usually do. So it's just, I, I think it's a number of factors, but, you know, until we get out of this mindset that housing is continuing to drop, and I do believe it's a, it's a mindset, it's like the stock market. I think people's expectations uh, make things so. I don't think it has sure. anything to do because we—it's not like we've seen a tsunami wave of new foreclosures on the market, and so not yet. And then, well, you said the bank yeah. maybe, but um, I mean, uh, one quick thing I wanted to bring up with yeah. real estate here was uh, something I, I thought was kind of interesting that I saw in the paper that it seemed actually, to, in my opinion, that the city of Nevada actually uh, did something on the positive side, and that was they—it says the title was "Fees Rejected for Commercial Developers." So. Uh, basically, the city of Nevada will likely not ask commercial developers to pay for affordable housing, at least not in the next few years. So I, what I took that to mean is that they realize that the developers just can't afford, because prices are so low, to pay these additional fees, but yet there's still a need for this commercial development. So it's kind of nice to see a city actually make a, a pro-development. Yeah, if you want to incentivize developers, yeah. you know that's that's the thing. The fees have gotten way out of hand. That's that's absolutely sure. I just wanted to mention before uh, the end of this segment, you know, Michelle uh, Lerman's been our guest, and and she's uh, one of the best estate planning attorneys uh, uh, in the Bay Area. But your husband is Jeff Lerman, who uh, we've had on as a guest, and. He's uh, the real estate investor's attorney, and so you guys are, you're pretty involved in the real estate market yourselves. That's definitely, that. yeah, so, definitely. And, and uh, what, what's, the, what's the other URL of your website that also brings you to Lerman Law? You were telling me, I thought that was pretty clever. Yeah, it's realestateinvestorlaw.com. Realestateinvestorlaw.com. That's our website. All right, guys and gals. Uh, thoughts for the day. Watch what you mix in the washing machine. Now, this, is, this happened to me. I accidentally put my San Francisco Giants orange t-shirt in not realizing my wife's Angora sweater was in the, at the same time. And I didn't realize it until I put it on. I looked like Tickle Me Elmo. Did not a good sight, I'll tell you. And uh, they say money can't buy happiness. All I want is a chance to prove it. <laughs> okay, tune in next week to the best of investing. We're going to be giving away nine more free vacations for answering trivia questions. Our guests are going to be a couple of realtors who are going to give us advice regarding homes. It ought to be a very good show. Uh, I've known him for a long time. It's, uh, it actually would be kind of fun and a little bit of funny, too. And uh, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be having another special uh, trivia contest. So uh, make sure that you tune in to the best of investing. On behalf of our team, I'm Edward Brown. We're wishing you the best of investing. So long.